hey you all welcome back welcome back to moments with us in today's video today is saturday so we'll be going over the news comments and reports so hopefully you all are having a good weekend so far and you out there preparing and doing what you can do um today we're going to be going ahead and starting off with a few of uh, with a few comments um you know in saturday videos i give people a chance to be heard on screen i pull out some comments just some random comments from the um comment section on a few videos and then we go ahead and go over some reports sometimes and then we go ahead and go over some things over on facebook and you know just grab a little bit of this and grab a little bit of that and just see how people feel um so make sure you guys stay tuned we're gonna go ahead and start with these comments today because it's getting juicy you guys yes it is so if you do like this kind of video, please go ahead, guys, and press the like button. If you're new here, go ahead and consider subscribing. If you've been here before, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back. You all are amazing. Let's go ahead and jump into these comments. So first comment actually comes from Goshen Preppin. Oh my God, I love this guy's channel. His family is amazing. They have some great information over there, some great resources. Um, If you guys have not checked out gosh and prepping um definitely i think a very familiar channel on youtube already definitely check them out um i just want to thank him or you know someone in his family for actually coming and checking moments with us out it's amazing because i do watch him all the time so thank you thank you thank you so much for stopping by oh i was so happy when i saw that comment y'all i really was all right, so somebody shared that they're in Houston, Texas, where thankfully they still have plenty of just about everything. However, like most places, we are definitely seeing an increase in prices. So with that being said, yesterday was the first time in about 20 years that my husband went grocery shopping with me. Talk about sticker shock, LOL. He now has a better understanding of why the so-called budget for groceries was so unreasonable. He kept saying how much as we walked through sam's club especially seeing the prices of eggs and meat thanks to our little venture out yesterday he has more than doubled our grocery budget and you know what i definitely agree with this for people who actually don't go outside and don't go shopping especially like with um um uh, like like two adult households and there's, and there's only one person that actually do like the grocery shopping, the household shopping and stuff like that. That's the only person that's going to really see the prices and, you know, if or or if there's any shortages and stuff like that. Um, and it's really going to be a shocker to some people who actually do not go out to the stores and they get to see, oh, my God, that went up by X, Y, Z. Are you serious? You know, I can imagine the shock to some people faces when they see these prices because it's really out of control. <clears throat> um and to believe they said inflation a few months ago was only at a i think they said it was at a, a 9.8 percent man they are crazy um but yeah i thought that was something great to share so let's go ahead to the next comment so sled has shared somewhere in the comments that the chicken breast canned meat used to be ten dollars and fifty cents a year ago now seventeen dollars that's over a fifty percent increase crazy your money isn't going up this fast inflation is only getting worse thanks biden such a great job by shutting down all of our gas and shipping our natural gas to the middle east now <clears throat> if you haven't noticed americans come last in this country under biden they care more for foreign countries taking care of them than our very own that's the truth <clears throat> you know what sled and i definitely agree i feel like we definitely become last you know we got to spend our life to basically build up you know america and we really get little in return if anything in return um you know and it's ridiculous it is definitely ridiculous so i feel you on this comment y'all i definitely feel you on this comment thank you for sharing all right you guys so from william raybold Hi, my friend. Not sure if in the USA you have companies like this, but in the UK we have companies that have websites that sell near or out of date food at reasonable prices up to 90% off. I get a lot of tent food and cleaning supplies from them. Love and God be with you and your family. XXX Bill. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Bill, for sharing that in the comments. I believe that I saw a commercial about. 
it was it was some company that was actually selling um food that was like gonna go to waste and i forgot the name of it so if anybody in the comments or watching this video know the name of a company you know something like what he's talking about definitely leave it in the comments because it definitely can help the next person out um i will go ahead and give it a try as well so if y'all know the name of a company like that drop it down in the comments thank you thank you thank you for sharing that with us in the comments all right so from alaska life a new and upcoming channel if y'all got the time go check alaska life out so he goes to write i could seriously write you a book on this topic but i won't we're talking about i believe this is the nuclear um it's the nuclear attack video in order to survive anything you need one of two things the first one is luck especially with something like dead and the second was is an advance warning i don't think that they'll warn us if a nuclear attack was really happening you know without one of those our chances are kind of low distance away from an event is key but the wind blows in many directions the fallout is dust and we can't see it and you know what alaska life i can do nothing but agree with you um definitely would need a whole lot of look whole whole lot of look though um, thank you for tuning in and coming to the comments as usual. I appreciate you. All right, fam. So definitely take heed from Ricky over in France, you guys. So they told us here in France that rice will disappear from the shelves. So that is priority every week. As long as it is there, I get a few pounds living close to a grain silo that sells to everyone. I'm getting my grain there. Have a lot of flour already. A well with my neighbors help with water and I'll get life straws and a Berkey. I've stocked up on canned mills since a while and regularly add or replace what's been used. P.S. Couscous is extremely easy and energy efficient to prepare. Just rinse salt or you work through and over a bit of steam, you'll get it ready in minutes. So that's a great tip as well. So if you're stocking up on rice, couscous is something also that's great to add into your stockpile. So next time you go shopping, you see a little thing of couscous, pick up a little bag of it, try it out and see if it's something that's worth adding to your stockpile. But that's also a great tip. Take heed to that rice shortage. They told them to stock up on that rice already. Um, Have y'all not been seeing the rice go up or empty or at least short on your shelves? Because I know I have over here in New Jersey. Definitely take heed. Thank you for sharing that in the comments. All right, so Soul came through in the comments and they said the best way to survive anything is to not be afraid and go with the flow. No fear. Keeping your composure is the most important in any apocalypse or not. And I think, honestly, in any situation in life, if any obstacle is thrown at you in life that you have to face, keeping your composure is the best way to handle anything that's thrown at you in life, you know? And these type of things, people being religion. But if you truly believe in God, you will be okay. Even if you aren't physically, this world is temporary spiritually you already are and have everything the lack and stagnant is the physical world this is hell why would you want to be here anyways i'm not trying to be morbid but it's the truth the truth is life isn't so good and corruption exists everywhere yeah you should look at the positive but i'm a realist you can't ever be content or happy if something constantly bothering you or is like a parasite and you know what i definitely agree with you um especially like with the world events and stuff going on in today's world being positive i get it like you can't always be happy right because that's that's the reality of things but the way that you handle things and the way that you take things in is very important um you know to truly be happy you know it, it all depends on you know each person for themselves you know what what do they think of happiness what is happiness to you you know to me the world events it really don't it don't really bother me with everything going on but I do love raising awareness I do love making these videos and things like that because I still go on and I live my life you know it's not something that I that I that I fear 
with everything that's happening. It's not something that I fear. You know, it puts no fear in me because I know at the end of the day, what's destined to be would be, you know, so I go and I live my life. I live my life day by day by day. And it is exactly what it is. Keep your faith. That's all I can say. Um, but definitely. So I feel you. I definitely feel you. Thank you for tuning in and coming to the comments. I appreciate you. All right. So someone else went ahead and shared Northeastern Pennsylvania. Heating oil is five twenty nine a gallon. Kerosene for people with the tank outside because they don't have a basement like me is six dollars and thirty nine cents a gallon. They have a wood stove, twenty six acres of trees, and thank God the ability to still do all of the work required to heat my home for the winter. I don't know how the elderly will survive this winter. Mm mm mm. All right, so somebody else went ahead and shared so many empty shelves today at our grocery store. Spices, yogurt, pasta, cranberry sauce, stuffing, granulated sugar, allergy and cold medications. I was so frustrated trying to get the things on my list. I think the spices are what shocked me the most. None of them were on sale, so it wasn't that it was a great pick. I mean, a great price kind of thing. What I did actually get was so expensive. You know what, guys? And that's that's crazy because, you know, what's happening is more people are actually preparing for the winter. Um, So that would be like, you know, medications going low. More people are preparing for the holidays ahead of time. November is already next month. And we are almost we're actually at the end of October. We're in the 20s. We're at the end of October, you guys. So if you have not start stocking up for your holiday, you know, meals, ingredients, stuff like that. Definitely get on the road, get on the road, get on the road. I know food pantries and stuff like that is definitely giving out holiday ingredients such as pasta, such as pasta sauce. They giving out like squash and, you know, a whole bunch of goodies and stuff like that too. So if you do have pantries, food banks in your area, definitely don't be shy. Go check them out. Check them out because you can get prepared on your holiday, you know, ingredients now. Um, yeah, but like this person said, shocked to see a lot of things missing and nothing ain't even on sale. What kind of bogus? But you know what? That's today's reality, you know? Get out there and get stocked up because you could be next. You just never know. Full shelves, next day, empty shelves. You honestly just never know. So people started to talk about the temperatures, you know, this past summer. It was crazy. Um, so someone said, having just lived through the hottest temps on record in South Texas, I'm not downplaying anything. Those temps were a bit scary as massive. Ancient oaks will self-prune during the consistent 100-degree temps. We are surrounded by them. Most people's gardens burned up. Tomatoes would not set fruit. I know full well the dangers, but am only shining a light on the unknown good that may have come from it. So over this past summer, a lot of people actually had problems with growing certain crops and things like that, even in their own little, you know, home gardens and stuff like that. Certain things didn't sprout and the weather is like ridiculous. Even now, like in certain parts of the country where it can go three days, hot, hot, hot. And then next thing you know, they temperatures drop like well below average. And I believe that is like weather manipulation. Um, Honestly, you know, it, they're trying to keep people from being self-reliant. And that's only the truth. Well, it's, it's what I believe. You know, that's what I believe. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. So here's some shortages from Hackensit Town, New Jersey. I believe that's South Jersey. Um, That's a Walmart, of course. And then it says refrigeration issues. Sorry for the inconvenience. So there was this little challenge going on on Facebook um, in one of these groups where they were saying, Hey, they always say refrigeration issues and they clear out the freezers at Walmart. I dare somebody to go ahead and put their hand in the freezer and let us know if that freezer is cold. So somebody did it and they say, yeah, the freezer was cold. Um, so I'm not sure. Do they really be having refrigerator problems, um, freezer problems, or maybe they just don't have nothing to stock on the shelf at that time i'm not sure it's a lot of conspiracy with the whole walmart freezers you know they they, they do be having a lot of issues though um i don't know what y'all think about that all right well lastly somebody went ahead and shared i guess they pulled up to a drive-thru somewhere 
Um, and it says, we apologize for the inconvenience, but due to our truck being MIA, we have no, boom, french fries, coleslaw, hot sauce, honey mustard, chicken, biscuit, buns, or steak. I am so sorry. What is the eyes? They wrote this out and everything, too. I don't know if this is a whole fake. I honestly don't know, but it's really believable because guess what? Their truck went MIA. How they whole truck go just MIA? You know, don't they call in and let them know? What y'all think about that little note there? That, that, that was pretty funny, though. They said, so sorry. We going to end this video here. It's actually going to be a part two um, sometime during the week because I don't want to make a whole hour video um and have y'all sitting here for an hour i don't know how many of y'all will actually stay for the whole hour though um we're gonna end this video right here there is much more to share and i keep telling myself i need to make these reports at least twice a week because it's always so much to share i got a few emails of some reports that i'm eager to share with you guys so you guys look out for that as well thank you shauna for sending that over you're amazing um but yeah that's pretty much it We'll probably just go ahead. We're going to have to, like I said, because there's so much more to share and we can't fit everything into one video, right? So make sure y'all look out for that video upcoming as well. Thank you all for tuning in. You all are amazing. I'm glad you all made it this far. If you did, of course, drop your favorite emoji in the comments down below. I appreciate all of you. Make sure you all out there stocking up and doing what you got to do. Yes, keep your faith, keep your faith, and keep your faith. Um, you know, you can't spend every waking second, you know, worried. Don't be worried, guys. Just, you know, live your life. Live your life. Listen, this is Shauna checking out for moments with us. And make sure, yes, y'all say it with me. Make sure you all stay prepped, stay blessed, and stay safe. But most of all, remain beautiful, queens and kings. Keep your crown on your head and don't let nobody and I mean nobody. Knock it down. I'm officially out of here until next time. Peace.